As wards go down, and Team Liquid looking to defend top lane as there is a big wave here and three members of Team Dignitas make that soon four as they've also brought Lulu over. And as you mentioned, TP is available. This would still be a five on five though. Huge stun, a lot of damage. Bartle, they hits three, here comes the teleport. They've got to win this fight or it's all curtains for them. A big stun comes in, but has already picked off the AD carry. A dash away, there's going to be another stun coming through. Kiwi trying to stay alive, but Lorla was way too tanky. A double kill, and now a third kill, a fourth as they knock down Kiwi Kid. This is a clean fight for Team Liquid. Yeah, man, this is actually just a massacre. It's not even, it doesn't oh, even man. look risky. Oh man, I <laughs> Uh, uh, I actually like he's gonna the, get it. I actually like the taunt there from Dardoch rolling <laughs> over on Nidalee mid chase. But yeah, and that just kind of speaks to it doesn't even feel risky. It doesn't even feel like this is a tough game there. You know, using the teleport, what you want to use is try and get a numbers advantage. That was teleporting into a five on five. So yeah. you don't even really gain anything with that teleport. Um, and Dictosh try and fight that, but man, that was such a clean fight there from Team Liquid. It looks so relaxed. Absolutely. Matt was able to delay the engage there by a well-placed Bard ultimate, and Lorlo didn't have to do any unnecessary tanking. He was going to have to take maybe two seconds of DPS from three members to tank for the rest of Team Liquid to get there, but because of the invulnerability from uh, the Tempered Fate here from Matt, he ends up full life when he comes out. So right now, they just want to buy a little bit of time. Lorlo uses his ultimate to buy time. Uh, they're able to chain right off of the uh, Poppy ultimate there as well. And then even though Matt misses the binding right there, a little bit off kilter, man, with Phoenix coming in and the AoE, then the magical journey to follow it up. Yeah. Yeah. Team there. Liquid firing on all cylinders, really. Even the prep for that fight was so good. You mentioned the TP advantage. No one was bot lane. Exactly. All of Team Liquid were like, oh, Turtle's bot. We've seen this play before. They're going to push top, and everyone was there. Yeah, it wasn't, wasn't even really an advantage. Good tiny sidestep right there, but 